fine. In this lecture, I have replaced the button that we saw in the previous lecture with a potentiometer right on the breadboard. In this uh, lecture, uh, I will be comparing the voltage read by the LabJack on analog input zero with what is shown on my digital multimeter right here. So I have connected the probes of the multimeter on the GND and VS pins as those are broken out via the jumper wires onto the breadboard and on the potentiometer. So that will give us an, an indication of what, what kind of volts we're getting against what my multimeter is showing. In terms of the uh, sampling, uh, the middle pin of the potentiometer via the yellow jumper wire is connected to analog input zero. And that's what I'm uh, reading through the red probe of my multimeter. So let's have a look at the dashboard here on Kipling. So right now at the current position of the potentiometer, the voltage on analog uh, input zero is the 0.611 volts. The multimeter is showing close to 2.6, 2.597, so a little bit less voltage there. So let's change the position of the potentiometer and see how the voltage changes. So I'm going to move down a little, let's say close to one volt right here, 1.01 .01 on the multimeter, and that is 1.021 volts approximately on the lab jack. So you see that there is a difference between what lab jack is measuring and what my multimeter is measuring. It's hard to know exactly which one is closer, but uh, there is a difference nevertheless. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you a number of simple tests that you can do in order to make sure that the lab jack analog inputs are working properly. So in the next lecture, we're going to get some answers about accuracy here. So leave that for then. Let's also have a look at the voltage on analog input zero in the register matrix. So here in the register matrix, I have pinned in to the active registers list analog input zero. So we're looking at this register and you can see that the voltage, of course, shown here is the same one as in the dashboard 1.214. Just going to have a look at the minimum and maximum positions. So this is minimum for my potentiometer um, showing 0 0.11 volts while the multimeter is practically at yeah about the same 0 0.1 volts, almost zero volts. Let's go to the other extreme. And at the other extreme on the multimeter, I'm getting 4.87 volts. Whereas at the uh, uh, on the lab jack side, I'm getting 4.888 volts. By the way, this is a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. All right. So that's pretty much it with this experiment involving the potentiometer. It's a simple device, so there's not much else to do. I want to get into the next lecture now where I'll show you several simple tests that you can do on your lab check involving the analog inputs to ensure that they are operating properly. Let's check that out. <laughs>